So, hello folks. I was planning to do this with LED strips. And these LED strips are controlled by a board such as this. You've got them in all such shapes and sizes though. I have this one. That's not in a Dewey. I have a I've a Mega. I've got uh, plenty of boards here. But these are a bit big and I wanted something smaller. So, and I'm doing this for a friend of mine. So I bought this smaller board from China, and it's a Chinese knockoff, you see. Anyway, and I want to do an entire tutorial about this. But then I got in a heap of trouble when I installed this on, in the software and stuff. So I'm just going to do a video about that first. Instead of this, look, it's, it's glowing. <laughs> I should do something about that. But there's a little board in there that's controlling these LEDs. And I wanted the same with this, so I figured it's not going to be a problem. Yes, it was. And it was quite an ordeal to find a solution for it, so I might as well share it with you guys. So first you have to download the Arduino software. So I just googled Arduino software, and here it is. And here it is, Arduino 189. I'm going to take the top one installer for windows because the web app or that sort of stuff i'm not uh, i'm not very convinced about that i might try it one day but first off i'm going to use the installer and once you click that well contribute i contributed enough with the product i bought for them so i'm going just going to say just download and there we have it just store it somewhere and i already have installed it of course And here it is, Arduino 189. So once you downloaded it, it's uh, pretty much install installing it. That will take a while. I agree. Of course I agree. Next. Install. So it's kind of busy. Here we go. Close. And when you install it, you probably have to say yes a, c a couple of times because it's asking uh, should uh, about the firewall, but it's already installed in my firewall apparently. So okay. So once it is installed, start Arduino. And I'm just going to download uh, an example, basic example, which is Blink. And uh, according to the seller, this board, that's this one. Uh, can, let me see, Nano board, Arduino Nano version 3. So it's compatible with the Arduino Nano. So I've just selected, select the board in Tools, Arduino Nano here. Um, I was told to use the old bootloader. So it's time to upload it to my board. And you get this error. So if I select uh, the board Arduino Apparently, I don't have a Nano. I have a Pro or Pro Mini. Uh, it's the Item Mega 382. That's correct. And I'm setting at port 1. Let's try again. And it's taking a while. So I wondered, what's going on? I can try whatever I'd like here, to a different board, different port, uh, whatever, but this is the specification, um, Mega 328P, according to the seller. So I've been looking through these sellers and find out what's happening here. It couldn't connect to the board. Well, the problem was the communications port. So I'm just scrolling down, and he's talking about a lot of things here and use the driver from this link 
So I selected this link and here we are. So I figured okay so let's try that and then select clone or download download zip from this github link and the link will be provided in the description of sort of course you download the zip store it somewhere I've got it stored right here of course uh, you make fun nano kit master and you need this little file here ch340 341 for Windows 10 these are serials and this is for Windows 10 so I suppose I need this one this is serial and this is a communi communication port that you install so I'll just close down Arduino for a moment and I'm going to uh, double click this one and you might want to uninstall before you just click anything else and select uninstall no drive device is found install so I'm going to install this port USB serial CH well whatever successfully pre-installed in advanced so I disconnect the board and I'm going to start a G oh first I'm gonna connect the board once again and I'm gonna start up Arduino again tools I got the Arduino Pro Mini, but now I've got a COM3 here, Communications Port 3. Now let's upload this Blink f f again and see what happens. And it works. And that's it, that's all there's to it. But if you also would like to have the WAFCAT ports, because I also have this port for instance, WAFCAT UNO, that's something like Mega 328P as well, but this is the UNO. I would like to download that as well. If I move to GitHub and just to the home page, I'm just going to search WAFCAT. I forgot in on github you will find a few of them well this is the official official release of WAFCAT so let's just go there for a moment well that's Chinese I don't want that um, let's see what else they have oh here WAFCAT WAFCAT drivers you can download this the IDE 18 and I've got 189 you just store it already I've su I supposedly I already did so let's just yeah, let's just quit this one for a moment I already did store it and that's we've got drivers master I do we've got drivers drivers update now you'll have to put these in your Arduino documents folder. So I just copy, copy, I'm going to my documents, Arduino, and paste. And there we are. Now I start Arduino again. And if I'm going to look at the boards we have now at our disposal, you will see down here we've got the Wafgat Uno, Wafgat Nano, 3.0, Wafgat Pro Mini. So if it ne if needs be, you can also select any of these. But the particular one I bought is Arduino compatible with the Pro or Pro Mini, so I can just leave it as it is. But we have some more boards to. to to select from if necessary and if I'm going to use the, the Uno well I'm going to need this one I suppose I could just try and see what this one is doing Nano 3 and then upload
Uh, it does show some errors here. But it does upload this thing, so that's good. However, if, if we go back to the GitHub site, there is one guy, if I just go back to my search. Oh, right here, Eric, Eric VB that has updated the Bofka drivers because the official manufacturer doesn't update as often and he made some improvements as it's, as he said. Anyway, there's going to be some improvements on this. However, I do need do not need to I've got Uno. It uploaded fine with uh with the regular with the regular board Arduino Uno Arduino Pro or Pro Mini. So it works fine with this one. So I'm gonna stick to this one. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you, you have some advantage with this. I hope I helped some with, with one of your, some of your problems. Thank you very much for watching.